Hey, what's up guys? Sloth King here. Today, I'm gonna be working on my fourth gen 4Runner. I'm going to be greasing my drive shaft U-joints uh, and the, uh, the main part of the drive shaft. So the reason why you, uh, I'm doing this is because it's a common issue on these 4Runners is that you'll hear like a clunking when you come to a stop or when you take off. And that usually means that your drive shaft needs to get greased. So you're gonna need two types of grease. One, you're gonna need a, uh, a lithium NLGL number two. It's the, like the Lucas Red and Tacky. That'll be on the spider joints. And on the main drive shaft, you're gonna need a lithium NLGL number two Molly grease, which looks like this. So this is the one that goes on the main part of the drive shaft, which I'll show you. So I got the forerunner all jacked up, it's secured. If you don't know how to do this, check out the video up here. I have a short on it. Here we go, guys. Okay, so you're gonna make sure you wanna be in neutral when you do this. So that way you can spin the drive shaft. So I got both my grease guns here. The one that I have the green tape on, that's gonna be the red uh, lithium grease. And then this one's gonna be the one with the molly. All right, so here's our drive shaft. I'm spinning it around. This is the front of the vehicle. You're gonna see two grease fittings. You're gonna see one here, and then you're gonna see one on the inside there. This one gets the molly, and then that one gets the uh, regular uh, lithium. In my case, the red and tacky. And then back here on the drive shaft, we're just going to have one grease fitting which is gonna be the one without the molly. Oh yeah, and then since mine is four wheel drive, oh, that's that's great. That is just awesome. That's a great spot to get to. I think I can turn this since I'm not in four wheel drive. Yep. So that one right there that you can see, that one right there, that's gonna be the molly one. And then there should be one on the inside. Yep. That's gonna be the red and tacky. And then there's should just be one up towards the front of this drive shaft. There's the other grease fitting. That one's just gonna be the red and tacky, the one without the molly. So let's go ahead and grease these things up. All right guys, so I just did a test run on it and uh, make sure you tighten these two fittings right here on your grease gun because some grease is gonna leak out if you don't. Right now, I'm in the process of uh, putting some new grease in. I'm letting, you want you want to let some of the grease come out, like the old grease in there, and then you'll be good to go. So let me see if I can uh, set this uh, somewhere where you can actually see. All right, so I got that right there, and let's pump some more grease in there. Hopefully you can see some of that dirty grease coming out. That's what we want. There we go, I see some of the nice red clean grease so i'm going to pop off the fitting it's going to be on there a little bit tight all right loosen it and then it pops off then you're just going to take your rag go in there and wipe out that old grease you can spin the drive shaft around to get this side it's kind of hard to get your fingers up in there but just do your best you don't want it you don't want this grease slinging around down here. Like having a little bit on there is okay. You want to get the majority of it off because this thing is going to spin around like crazy. There we go. I got as much as I could off. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit this one with the molly. And then I'm going to hit the other ones uh, with the lithium. So let me show you what the molly one is supposed to look like. Okay, so the molly one is a lot easier to get to. You're going to pop this on. You're going to tighten down your fitting and then try to pull it off and it's good to go. So with this one, you don't want to put grease in until you see uh, grease come out. This one, you just want to give like, if you hear a clunk, give it like four pumps. All right, so mine was pretty bad. So I did seven or eight. Since this one's the easiest one to get to, you can... You can just add more if you still hear the clunk and uh, there you go all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and do my other uh, grease fittings so i'll be back whenever i'm done with this all right guys and i'm all done it took me probably about 15 minutes to do or 20 minutes so one thing to note that on this fitting you can spin it 
if you spin it uh, to the right, it will loosen it, and if you turn it uh, to the left, it will it'll tighten it. So what that will do, you want to loosen it, pop it on, and then tighten it down if you can, and then uh, that'll prevent the grease from squirting out. You want it like on there, not super tight because if your if your gloves or your hands are greasy, you're not gonna be able to grip this, and that's what happened to me. So I couldn't loosen it on the last uh, fitting that I did. So it was kind of a pain in the butt. I finally got it off, but yeah. So whenever you're done with these, uh, make sure you just wipe them down with some brake cleaner. You don't want these to stay all greasy, because if you have to move them, well, then you're good, you're just gonna get gross. And one more thing to note, on, on the front drive shaft, if you get on the driver's side, you can access that front, uh, those front fittings a lot better from, from over here. Because if you're on the passenger side, the transmission's in the way. But over here, it's pretty clear. You see how there's uh, some grease on there? I couldn't fully get it off. So uh, instead of just shoving a rag up in there, I just use my fingers, try to get it all out. And yeah, sure, you're gonna get it on the exhaust and you might see some smoke, but that's no big deal. I hope this video helped you guys out. Hope that gets rid of the clunk for you. Make sure uh, if it doesn't get rid of the clunk, go for a drive, you know, do some stops. And uh, if it didn't, do that, uh, do the main grease fitting, the one with the molly. That's gonna be the majority of your clunk. So if it doesn't get rid of it, get back under there, give it like a couple more pumps, take it for another drive until it goes away. You don't wanna overload it because that will cause damage. So yeah, make sure you don't overload that uh, the grease fitting uh, with the molly because that will cause damage to your drive shaft. So yeah, if you keep doing this, you won't have to replace your drive shaft for a while. But if you do, uh, I've heard that the uh, the Lexus version of uh, this vehicle, I think it's like the G something, Toyota actually fixed the, the clunk issue in that. So if your drive shaft ever fails, just get a drive shaft from that Lexus. Uh, SUV. It's the one that has the the V8 from uh, Toyota. So yeah, people said that that drive shaft goes right in. So if you need to, there's a, there's some advice. Go ahead and pick that up, and you won't have any clunking issues. Anyways, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to see more videos like these. You guys take it easy. I'll see you later. Grease in until you see uh, grease come out. This one. Oops. Yeah.